What's going on guys? You're in with Hardy Tech and welcome back to the Pokemon Showdown Scoreboard. My name is Hardy. I, you guys know my name. My intro is getting messed up today. Uh, we have a brand new Pokemon on the team after last time. Unfortunately, Cresselia was eliminated. I'm still very upset about that one. Cresselia was so close. But we have a Scrafty on the team today. Uh, decided to go with a Dragon Dance knockoff Fire Punch Drain Punch set with Life Orb. Um, I don't know if that's pretty basic. The cool thing about Scrafty is that it has so many good abilities. Uh, Shed Skin is good, Moxie's good, Intimidate's good. I'm honestly still contemplating between Moxie and Intimidate. Um, if Scrafty survives this episode, I might try Intimidate, uh, because we already have Jigusa, who is an Intimidate user. I didn't really think I needed two of them, especially two Fighting-type Intimidate users. Wanted to get, you know, the potential for maybe a Scrafty sweep, so... Uh, also, Green Shell might be the most obscure nickname I've ever done. Uh, if any of you get that reference, and if you get it correct, that is amazing. If you guys did your research and you've been around Team Caterpie for a very, very long time. I'm talking over six years ago, this is a reference to, so you guys are awesome. Uh, but what else is awesome, hopefully, is Game 1. Uh, okay... <laughs> Wailord, Kecleon, Armaldo, Sheninja, Ditto, and Carbink. Uh, alright, well that's interesting. Uh, let's start with Starfy, because I think he's going to start Ditto. No, it starts with the Carbink, okay. Well, let's just Energy Ball? It has Sturdy, but we also have Sturdy now. That doesn't even matter, that's a two-shot anyways. Light Screen is... Not good. <laughs> Light screen is quite unfortunate. He's also going to be able to get a reflect up. No, he goes for the stealth rocks instead. Okay, well, energy ball should still take the knockout. Great. No reflect, which is nice because our team is mostly physical attackers. Um, I think Alakazam is our only special attacker. So, Kecleon. Um, Kecleon changes by the type of move it uses, right? Oh, it also has protein. Oh, now I don't know. Okay, so it's more than likely going to be Protein. I think Color Change is the move we hit it with, so... Uh, let's try to work around that, then. Let's go for Focus Blast. Oh, we got flinched. Okay. Now let's go for Focus Blast. Oh, it has Sucker Punch as well. Never mind. We just got completely manipulated by Kecleon. Okay, so it has two priority moves. That's unfortunate. What other moves would it have? I'm guessing, like, Zen Headbutt? Um, let's try Coconut, and let's just go, f I bet he has a ghost type move, like Faint Attack maybe? Let's go for Ice Hammer. I bet he's going to try to turn himself into a ghost type so that uh, our fighting move wouldn't do anything. Or he could just switch out, I suppose. Um, if he goes into Shedinja, that's not great for us. No! <laughs> it's, oh, come on, 2%? That's just horrible. We don't have... Okay, we have to keep that Sheninja in mind. What do we have to hit Sheninja? We have Fire Punch, uh, Acrobatics, and Rock Slide. Okay, so we have three Pokemon that are counters to Sheninja, who's going to be Focus Sashed as well. Um, Let's just go for the Thunder Punch, since we don't have to risk that missing. He has Drain Punch as well! <gasps> Holy crap! What? What is this Kecleon? That's not good. And, oh no, we gotta get rid of Stealth Rocks. Oh, okay, we gotta get rid of Stealth Rocks before we can send in our Fletchender. That's annoying. Uh, okay, let's just get rid of those now. Let's just get rid of them. Chugusa, you can get this point. Okay, that's good. A Ditto switching is fine with me. I don't mind the Intimidate. We're probably going to switch out anyways. Stealth Rocks are gone. I don't think we have to worry about those for the rest of the game. Uh, we know his moveset. So... Let's go into our Sea Cucumber. Rock Slide does a lot of damage, but maybe we might be able to get a Reflect up. Maybe? Misses the Rock Slide Sea Cucumber, you are a hero! Thank you for getting the Reflect up. Do we need a Light Screen as well? Um, I'm not as worried about Light Screen. Uh, actually, that's a Special Attacker. And Ditto could be anything. 
Let's go for the light screen as well. Switches into Whale Lord. Okay, it looks like I made a, I might have made the right choice there. Let's just see if we can start Super Pow- Never mind. <laughs> that didn't make a difference. Okay. Decision time. How many Dragon Dances can we get off? Oh my gosh. I don't remember if Ditto copies stat boosts. I don't remember. And I hate that I don't remember. Okay, that doesn't do that much damage. We just gotta go for some damage here. Let's get a knockoff. That's a one hit. Okay. That's great news. Got the Moxie boost. Kecleon comes out next. We know it's gonna go fake out. So, let's just... I don't know. Uh, drain Punch for the heck of it. Yeah, that's fine. Now, the question is, does Sucker Punch do 30%? I don't think so. Oh, it only does 8%. And we got Drain Punch. Oh, we're point one, plus one speed too. The qu bad thing is... Actually, I don't know if there is a bad thing. He's not going into Ditto. So, there's Focus Sash. That's fine. What is he going to do? Will Wisp? x -Scissor. No! My strategy is ruined! Oh, it's a sad day. Uh, let's Acrobatics the Shed Ninja to hopefully take it out. Yeah. Okay, um, this is just a weird team. I don't remember if Imposter copies stat changes. So, if it does, uh, Ditto should have been his answer there. But, I don't know. Uh, 207, let's get a Tailwind off so that we can, uh, oh. Okay, let's just, do, oh, let's just do some damage, I guess. <laughs> I what? Is our little Tranquilo gonna take out an Armaldo? Do you not have a rock type move? Oh my god, we're gonna take this thing out. That should never happen in every Oh no, we're gonna lose the game. Do we intimidate each other? Okay, we intimidate each other. Uh <laughs> And the question is, is he Choice Scarfed? I'm assuming they're normally Choice Scarfed. So let's go for Mach Punch and see... Okay, critical hit. That's nice. Goes for the close combat. That does 44%. But his defenses are lower now. We gotta go for the close combat. Oh my gosh, I think we can win this with Mach... Oh, this might actually just kill. It does kill! We would. I think we would've won with Mach Punch, though. I'm pretty sure he was Choice Scarfed, so... Um, we would have taken him down to 3% or whatever percent he was at, and then we would have been able to mock punch for the kill. That was a really weird team, but Flechinder got a kill. I think everybody got points that game. Um, except Kerbominable, who just died, unfortunately. Let's try game two. Oh, how I missed the weird team we just faced. <laughs> Landers, Therian, Toxapec, Espeon, Breloom, Bayonet, and a Chansey. I think we're going to actually lead with Coconut. Because uh, I think we're going to see the Landorus lead. And we have decent options against most of the things on the... Uh... Yeah, we'll go with Coconut. There's the Landorus lead. That is great news for us. Not going to mess around. Let's just go for the Ice Hammer. Unless there's Z-Power Stone Edge again, which always seems to happen to our poor Coconut. No, just a U-turn. Okay, that's good news. Into Toxapex. Who takes that very well. Um, so, let's, uh, I think we're going to get toxic. I'm just going to go for Earthquake. Let's see how much we can do. Mm, only 31%. All right, we got to switch out. We need to go into probably Alakazam and try to pressure this thing ASAP. Baneful Bunker is fine with me. Uh, now the question is, do I want to keep Magic Guard? I kind of want to keep Magic Guard so that we don't have to worry about Toxic. I mean, there's no way he's going to stay in. Uh, and he doesn't have a Dark type, so let, let's just go for the Psychic. Chansey is fine with me. We trace Natural Cure, so even if we got poisoned, we wouldn't be able to get through that. Um, let's try our Coconut again, because I we got to try to get Coconut some kills. You can't double Toxic a Coconut. It just doesn't work that way. And I'm going to Ice Hammer. Soft Boiled, that's okay. 
Ooh, my gosh, that does not do as much damage as I thought it would. All right, let's drain punch so that we can at least start getting back some of his toxic HP. That's a two hit. That's what I want to see. He's still going to live another, uh, if he goes for another stop world, he'll live another drain punch. So we're slowly whittling our way down back into toxic pack. We're not uh, intimidated this time, so we could try going for, see how much we can get off with an earthquake. Liquidation. Oh, the defense drop. Oh, that's just unfortunate. Mm. Okay, let's switch out into Lander's Therian. Now I could have... <laughs> oh, that's really unfortunate. We could have had a uh, a kill if I went for the Ice Hammer. I didn't think he would go into Landorus of all things there. I thought he'd go for Baneful Bunker just to guarantee my death. Um... Okay, so your turn is very obvious. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice Coconut here. That's fine, uh, so that I can get a safe switch into whatever he wants to go into, which is probably Toxic Pack. Oh, Baynet. Baynet's a scary one because of Sucker Punch. But we got a green shell. And we could potentially get maybe like a Moxie boost here. I think Baynet, oh my gosh, does Baynet get play rough? Baynet might get play rough. Which would be very rough for us. Okay, no, just a will Wisp. Which, in Gen 7, Dark is immune to prankster moves? What? <laughs> That's a thing? <laughs> oh, sure. All right. You know, you know what? I learned something today. I didn't know that's how this game worked. But, all right, I'll take it. We're immune to, um, prankster. That's... That's great. Let's go for another knockoff. 49%. Get rid of that black sludge. We don't need you dealing with that. I'll take the, to I'll take the toxics all days if I have to. Um, and, oh gosh. Okay, we definitely need to preserve our green shell. Knockoff won't take a knockout now. He's probably going to go for Baneful Bunker, although he's not getting black sludge back anymore. I think this is when we go into our sea cucumber. Yep, Baneful Bunker. And we want to set up a Reflect. Reflect and then Light Screen if possible. Back into Chansey. That could actually be okay. Oh my god, is this actually good? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what reality did we just go into? Is Sea Cucumber going to just sweep everybody with his like, plus 18 defense? Thank you for the attack boost. I mean, we're, we're quad weak to bug, but we have a reflect up and we're plus two defense. So, you turn only does 49%. Oh my god, he's going to go and obviously has so many Pokemon that resist Psychic. Or, uh, yeah, that superpower. But you know what? 20% and every time we use it, our attack gets stronger. I'll take it. Um, we will have to use reflect again after this turn. What does Painful Bunker do? Is that... Oh, we are poisoned now. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Superpower though, this is nice, uh, decent damage. He's gonna recover. No, no! <laughs> My stats! Aw. <laughs> that's okay, we'll get another reflect up at least. Everybody's getting so many points today, except Coconut. So I think we could already kind of figure out who's getting eliminated. Let's try to get a light screen up before we die. Just to get even more points. Because Sea Cucumber is amazing. And didn't actually die there. Uh, that's... Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, they just got free Stealth Rocks up. Okay, so we know this is a defensive Landorus, at least. Um, let's go for a Rock Slide? I don't know if he's... Okay, just a hard switch into Toxapax. Why didn't he U-turn? Hmm. I don't really have... Like, I have a Pokemon for Toxapex, is the thing. Like, I have a... Uh, let's Rapid Spin. Okay, we got rid of Rocks. Now we can send in our Fletchender, at least. And I think at this point, we have to... We have to take rid of this... We have to get rid of this Toxapex. Is our biggest threat. Uh, Baneful Bunker? No, it just goes for the Liquidation. Okay. 
Uh, well, I'm just gonna psychic everything because I have to knock this thing out. This is like the one thing that's kind of standing in my way from victory right now. 17%? That could be min-max. Focus Blast is like a guaranteed kill. It's gotta hit, right? It's gotta hit. Oh, thank you, Starfy. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. That could have been that could have been very bad. Um, I think we could take Landers out. Breloom, we could take out. Mock Punch, I don't think should kill us. I think we might have won. Oh, they left the game. They left the game, but they didn't forfeit. Why do people keep doing this to us? All right, we got to start the timer. I'll let you guys know when two minutes pass so that we can actually move on to game number three. Oh, he came back. Oh, I didn't expect that. I thought he was just gone. Um, okay, let's go for the psychic. No, he's focus dashed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. That was our... Oh, he must have figured out like... Oh, wait, I got to focus dash Pokemon. I can win all day, all night. That's, that's sad. Okay, well... This is just heartbreaking. I thought we had victory, and now this guy just comes back like... Oh, by the way... No. No. Uh, so... <laughs> Come on, we had to win! We had the win! This is just sad now. Because now we just gotta, like, accept that we're gonna die, right? Organization, yeah. I know how this game works. Okay, let's just Dragon Dance for the, the heck of it. Maybe, I mean... Yeah, even if we knock out Toxapex, like... Uh, that's pretty much the end of it. Knockoff only does 34%. Luckily, this thing doesn't have recover, which I fully expected it to. Um, yeah, you're gonna painful bunker. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, we're not. We had, I feel so robbed right now. I am just heartbroken over how we had victory in our grasps, in our hands, and it was ripped away from us. This might still be a two hit. That's still a two hit. And we still have our Gale Wings activated. Is there a weird way where we can... We kill Breloom. We we won't kill Toxapet because it's going to get Regenerator. And I don't think we kill Espeon. Oh my gosh. It's, how much does it get back from a Generator? It was at 31% before. That's just insane. Yeah, Baneful Bunker. <laughs> I know how this works. Yeah, I just... I want to lose now. I, I've i never been... I've never felt more robbed of a victory. Thanks for the critical hit. At least, you know, it got us somewhere, I suppose. I've never felt so robbed of a victory than when someone leaves and there's like... I think there was 20 seconds left on the timer and they rejoined. Uh, <laughs> that was just sad. Toxic Pex is a huge problem right now. Um, the thing is, it's not even that huge of a problem because I have, I have, um, Alakazam who could take the knockout, but we just couldn't, and he didn't even have a dark type to like, uh, okay, thanks for the points. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point, like coconut is, coconut's leaving. God, <laughs> Regenerator is just a ridiculous ability. Let's just go for the close combat. Yeah, all right. At this point, we just got to wait for a poison to get the knockout. I'm very upset that we had... We just we were given a free victory, and nah, they decided... Nah, that's silly. Okay, we're finally dead after 43 turns. <sighs> Let's try game three. Okay. Uh, Perugly, Forges, Miss Magius, Wigglytuff, Kingler, and Steelix. Uh, alright. Let's go ahead and uh, start with the Starfy lead. Perugly was uh, pretty obvious it's going to be going for Fake Out. So, let's go in Archigusa to try to at least intimidate it. Maybe scare it away. Oh! Oh! Wait! Oh, that was bad. <laughs> okay, apparently uh, Intimidate was the worst possible option I could have gone for there. Okay, just a hard switch out, thankfully. We scared him out. Wow. <laughs> I did not realize it had to buy it. That would have been just horrible. Uh, that would that would have been really bad for us. 
So I think Miss Magius is probably going to have either a Psychic or a Fairy type move. Uh, let's go in our Sea Cucumber. See if we can try to predict uh, Shadow Ball. Thanks for the special defense boost. Uh, sadly, it's pretty useless now. But who knows? Maybe we can. Yeah, we aren't living any moves. I never. I guess we get the point for. Uh... I wait a minute. I don't know how contrary works because normally we would lose a point because we had a special defense drop. But in that case, it's actually a special defense boost. So would it be plus one? I don't know. Uh, obviously, uh, my, whatever I did in the points is what my decision ended up being, but, yeah, I don't know what my decision in this situation would be. It's weird. Okay, probably gonna go into one of his two normal types. No, he's staying in. Oh my gosh, it's focus sashed? No! <laughs> we live, though. We lived 1%, and we got the special defense drop as well. Just insult to injury. Uh, play a safe energy ball in case it wants to switch into a normal type here, so at least we can get some damage, which it does, which they do. Uh, exactly 50%. That is wonderful for us, because a psychic... I always forget. Does fairy resist psychic? I can't remember this for some reason. Clef. I can't for the life of me remember if fairy resists psychic, and I don't know why. It does not resist Psychic. Okay. I'm just crazy. Psychic will get the knockout then. Yeah, I must just be crazy. The Paragly Switch should be obvious here in getting Fake Out. And I know... No. Okay. Seemed like you would have gone into Paragly and got the free Fake Out kill. Uh, I guess not. We'll take the 30%. That's all it does to Forges, who seems to be pretty specially bulky. Um, and we don't really have a counter to that. I just realized we have three fighting types. That explains why it was so hard to get through um, Toxapex, is because half of our team is fighting. Wow. Okay. That's gonna be a problem. Uh, what's your speed like? 273. This thing is fast as heck. Um, let's just see if we can take a move and maybe hit an Ice Hammer, do a decent chunk of damage. If we can live a Moon Blast, I'll be happy. Oh, just a hard switch into Miss Magius for us to get the knockout. That might have messed up some stuff, because before I'm pretty sure Coconut was, like, guaranteed to get eliminated. Uh, that kill might have changed some things. Now I'm quite curious. Fake Out does, uh, 20%. It's Life Orbed, so Drain Punch. What? Wait a minute. Last resort. Can't that only be used if you've used every other move you have? Was that per ugly seriously only running <laughs> fake out and last resort? Wow. Okay, that's not what I expected. Um, let's see how much our little Fletchender can do. If Fletchender can get a two hit, that would be... Uh, or we could try to go for the Tailwind. Tailwind might... Oh, Tailwind... Might be necessary. I don't think Ford just would be running max speed, though, in hindsight. I was worried about that. That's a two-hit. Come on, Fletchender. Don't fail me here. Fletchender, you failed me. You failed me, Fletchender. <laughs> oh, that's that's just heartbreaking. Oh, no. Gotta love min-max damage. Uh, and at this point, we just lose to Forges. There's... Pretty much nothing we could do to this Pokemon, so... <sighs> you know what? It was a... It was a decent run. I'll give him a... That actually did a decent amount of damage. Huh. Well, it's a shame that, uh... Oh, it goes for Wish. A critical hit there might have got the knockout. Alright, let's go for Green Shell. I think we're gonna see a Protect. No, just the Moon Blast! Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, Rock Slide would have killed. Rock Slide would have killed! Oh! <laughs> I mean, uh, it would have got Kingler back up to like 50% or whatever, but... Oh, that's just heartbreaking. I 
did not expect them to just stay in. Oh, wait. Yeah, Moonblast would have killed us. Never mind. Rock Slide wouldn't have killed. Moonblast would have killed us first. Okay, that was... I, I wasn't that dumb after all. Um, wow. I have no idea what's going to happen now because Coconut got two kills in that game. Obviously, you guys know. Let's go talk about it. Well, it was a Hall of Fame performance for our boy Chigusa, the Hitmontop. Congratulations. Welcome to the Hall of Fame, our fourth member this season. So we're getting uh, pretty close to filling up the roster. Who knows? Maybe uh, Alakazam will be our next member. Could have been Cresselia. Could have been you, Cresselia, but oh well. Uh, so huge congratulations to Hitmontop for making it through the 10 episodes and being the point leader this episode. Amazing job. Uh, the same cannot necessarily be said for Cribominable, who, honestly, I'm kind of surprised made it this far. He did make it four episodes in, which is pretty impressive considering how kind of mediocre his stats are. Uh, had a pretty decent move pool, but unfortunately just couldn't get the job done in the end. Uh, I do have to say, I'm shocked by how many points were given in this episode, from the tailwinds to the two kills that Fletchender got to all the light screens and all the reflects. Uh, so many points today. It was ridiculous. I believe this is the most point changes we've had all season. I've had more uh, slides to put in than I think any other episode. So congratulations, everybody. Next episode, we're going to have two new Pokemon. The first one replacing our fallen member, Grabominable Coconut, and that is going to be... Diglett. Okay. Stealth Rocks. It's fast. Um, Sucker Punch. It could work. It could work. And replacing our newest Hall of Fame member, Chigusa, will be... Registeel. Okay. That one I'm a bit more okay with. It's it's tanky. Uh, it counters Tapu Lele, which I think we desperately need. Uh, kind of counters Toxapex. It, it, that's a good Pokemon to have. Okay. I'm okay with Registeel. We've had Regirock. We've had, we're now Registeel. Regice has got to appear somewhere along the way. Uh, hopefully. But that's going to do it for us today, guys, in the Pokemon Showdown scoreboard. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!